I'm gonna tell you where to find some of the best, less touristy Instagrams in Washington, D.C. Hello, welcome to Trip Hacks DC. My name is Rob. I'm a tour guide here in the nation's capital. If you're coming to Washington, D.C. and you're looking for the best tips, tricks, and hacks for exploring the city, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any new videos. And if you'd like to have me personally show you around when you come, head on over to TripHacksDC.com afterwards to see the tours that I offer. In this video, I'm going to tell you where to go if you want to find some of the best off the beaten path Instagram shots. Of course, if you come on tour with me, I'm happy to tell you about the best angles you can get of the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Monument, and the reflecting pool. But if you want to impress your friends with some cool, lesser known shots of DC, I'm gonna give you seven of my favorites. And to help you find them when you arrive, I'll put a Google map in the description with all of the locations. If you live in or have been to DC before and have any personal favorite Instagram shots, leave a comment on this video and let me know what they are. Otherwise, let's get started. First up is City Center DC. City Center is a development in downtown Washington that has been open for a few years now. It's a mix of apartments, high-end shopping, and high-end restaurants with a fancy luxury hotel coming soon. This is personally not an area of the city that I frequent, as the stores and restaurants don't really interest me. However, I will say that when I do visit, it feels like the entire place was designed specifically for Instagram. There are big, colorful statues that you can pose with, there are cool water features that you can take a look at, but by far the most popular Instagram are the lights that hang over the walkway, and they change seasonally. Right now, since it's fall, they're set up as colorful fall leaves. Over the summer, it was beach balls. And in the spring, they'll change over to pink flowers for Washington, D.C.'s famous Cherry Blossom Festival. Second up is the Kogod Courtyard. Tina and I actually mentioned this one in our Things to Do in D.C. with Kids video. It is a beautiful courtyard covered in glass ceiling between two Smithsonian museums, the Portrait Gallery and the American Art Museum. These are located about one mile north of the National Mall, but both museums are fantastic, especially if you're an art lover and worth a trip from the National Mall. And of course, make sure to stop in the courtyard and get your great Instagram. Next up on my list is District Donut. If you're a foodie, then taking pictures of food for your Instagram feed is a must. I have to admit, I'm actually terrible at taking pictures of food, which is why you almost never see it on the Trip Hacks DC Instagram feed, with this one exception. I personally like Instagramming at District Donut because one, the donuts are delicious, two, they encourage Instagramming the place and even have their own hashtag. If your Instagram is particularly good, they might print it and post it on their social wall. And a bonus tip is to make sure you get a cup of Compass Coffee while you're here another great local brand. Next up is the mural at Ben's Chili Bowl. There are a lot of really cool murals around Washington, D.C., and they usually make for really cool Instagrams. One of the best-known murals in the city is located in the alley next to Ben's Chili Bowl, which is right on U Street. This mural has actually changed a few times over the years. The current version of the mural features prominent African Americans who have contributed to the history of the city and the neighborhood. A few faces that you might recognize include Barack and Michelle Obama, Dave Chappelle, and Muhammad Ali. And like I just said, there are actually a lot of really cool murals located around the city. But unlike in other places, they're not all concentrated in one neighborhood. So it takes a little bit of planning and a little bit of work if you want to see them all. My next spot is the Blind Wino Southwest Arts Club. This is a community art space located about one mile south of the capital in an area of the city where very few tourists tend to venture. If it looks like a big church, it's because yes, at one time it was a church. Nowadays it's used as a community art and event space. The Blind Wino calls itself the most hidden gem in the city's art community. If you do want to Instagram this spot, make sure to plan ahead because the gates are only open for a limited number of hours on the weekends. At the same time, those limited hours make this even more of a gem if you can get there. The next spot on my list is the Watermelon House. The story of this house goes something like this. The owners hired a painting company and asked that the house be painted a bright fire engine red. When the owners got home, they realized that the painters had used a shade of red that made the house look more like a bottle of Pepto-Bismol. But rather than have the painters come back and redo it, the owners just grabbed a can of green paint and black paint and made it look like a watermelon. The watermelon house has existed in this form for much longer than Instagram has been around. But because it's become such a social media phenomenon, they've added an official hashtag that you can use when you visit. And lastly, one of my personal favorite spots in the city is the Yards Park Bridge. The National Mall is obviously the best known park in Washington, D.C. One of the best locals parks is the Yards Park. It's located southeast of the capital 
near Nationals Ballpark. So if you're coming in for a game, you can swing over here beforehand. There's a lot of really great places to eat and drink right on the park, but what people really love to Instagram is the bridge that spans over the pool. And I have to admit, it does look really cool. And a bonus tip is that it looks especially impressive at night if you bring a tripod and can get a nice long exposure. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the Trip Hacks DC logo, which is popping up right now at the bottom of the screen. And make sure you're following Trip Hacks DC on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, so you can keep up with all of the photos that I post from around Washington. And if you're planning a trip and want to take a tour with me, you can click on the Capitol Dome on the left side of my head. That'll take you over to TripHacksDC.com, where you can see the tours that I offer. Enjoy your trip!